in your sales calls, you need to be addressing the elephant in the room. I want to share with you guys the sales strategy that I share with uh, a few team members yesterday when they were struggling with sales. I was listening to their sales calls and ultimately um, I was like, man, you have to identify this before you can move the ball forward. And if you address these concepts and ultimately identify the elephant in the room in your sales calls, I promise you, you will make more money and you'll move the prospect forward faster. And most importantly, I will teach you in this video how to get the prospect to sell themselves. So if you want the prospect to sell themselves on the policy, here's the video I wanna make for you. If you don't know who I am, my name is Peter Roberts, owner of Legacy Family of Life. We help life insurance agents make six figures without buying leads and without chargebacks. Sounds crazy, but ultimately our goal, my goal is to help agents actually make money, provide well for their families, and not get screwed over by the life insurance industry. So let's go into what this concept is called. It is called addressing the elephant in the room. Let me give you guys some scenarios so you can understand it first. I'm gonna share with you how you can lower the, the prospect's guard and get them to sell themselves. Sound good? Perfect. So the first thing is situation number one. Miss Betty, she tells me, I'm on the phone call with her, I have a $50,000 whole life insurance policy and I'm looking to get a policy to cover my burial expenses. Okay, what's kind of weird about this situation? Well, Miss Betty, 50,000, if you're thinking about it in 2024, that's gonna cover more than enough burial expenses, right? Burials, 15, 20,000, you know. So in the back of your mind, you're thinking as an agent, like, man, this doesn't make sense. She already has a $50,000 policy. Why does she need an extra policy to cover her burial expenses? It doesn't make sense. That is the white elephant. And the problem is, is a lot of agents will have that thought. They'll be like, man, what's, why does she need a policy? Like, I don't get it. But they'll get really salesy. They're like, oh my gosh, I'm finally speaking to someone. And they won't address the elephant in the room. And they'll continue throughout the sales call without addressing that white elephant. And then eventually that white elephant comes back in the close. And she's like, I'm good. I don't really need it. So here's what you need to do. Okay. So number one, if you ever feel like it doesn't make sense, well, you need to address that head on, be blunt. But here's the question that you need to ask Miss Betty. Miss Betty, curious tone, I mean, you already have the $50,000 whole life policy right now. I mean, a formal burial is anywhere from fifteen to 20000 So that's going to be more than enough to cover your burial expenses and still leave some money behind to your family. So you're really in a good position. Honesty is a great sales tactic. So kind of walk me through. I'm just confused. I mean, why would you need an additional policy if everything is already kind of taken care of with your first policy? Can you kind of help me understand that, Miss Betty? She is then going to tell you, oh, I want this to happen, or here's why this policy is not sufficient in solving my problem, okay? So you need to ask her, why is that not enough? Slay that white elephant, okay? She might say, oh, I want to make sure that, you know, I can still leave $20,000 to Sarah because Sarah is my favorite granddaughter and I want to leave her a separate policy. So the value has just shifted from, I want to cover my burial expenses, which you actually can't because 50,000 is already going to do that. So there's no value there, but maybe there is value in a different situation. And by asking that question to dive deeper, you literally found how to kill that white elephant and to get her to sell herself on a new idea of why she needs another life insurance policy. Okay. Let me give you another example. Mr. Timmy. Mr. Timmy, this happened. He said, hey, I want to, you know, I want to get a, a, a policy to cover my bear, my cremation expenses, okay? I already have a uh, $15,000 life insurance policy, but I want something to cover my burial expenses. I'm going cremation. What is the white elephant in the room? What is what you're thinking? Okay, you're thinking that Mr. Mr. Timmy, you already have $15,000. That is more than enough for a basic cremation, my friend. So you're going to ask him, Mr. Timmy, just so I can understand, I mean, you have a $15,000 policy. Um, that's plenty enough for a cremation. I mean, why would it be like important for you to have like an additional policy? Can you like walk me through why that'd be important for you? And what is he going to have to do? He's going to have to pause, acknowledge his situation, and sell himself to you of why he needs another life insurance policy. Well, I need another policy because this. Okay, so by attacking that white elephant in the room, this happens so many times, you don't just skip by it. You don't just move forward. You have to address the obvious. White elephants are in the room because they're obvious. They're there. You can't miss them. It's obvious that this guy's already taken care of. So it doesn't make sense why he needs another life insurance policy. So we're going to ask him, you're already good. 
Why do you need another policy? Can you explain that to me? And when he explains that to you, he will sell himself on potentially getting a new policy. Or number one, you did your job as a sales agent being honest and ethical. He's like, good, I'm cool. I don't need a policy so that you don't waste 15, 20 minutes in a discovery for no value or no need. You guys see that? So when you're going through your sales calls, it's important to address these white elephants. If you're feeling it, you're going to feel it in the gut. It's like, it doesn't make sense. Why are they need another policy? Why are they doing this? If it doesn't add up, address it in the room. Now, how you deliver it, tonality is a whole different. You want to be curious. You want to be understanding in your tone. So you never want to attack them. Okay, well, I mean, you already have the 15,000. Like, why do you need more? That's not how you want to deliver the question. You want to slow your words. You want to be curious in your frame of delivery. Oh my gosh. I mean, I just want to understand here. I mean, you're already in like in a really good position, Miss Betty. Why would you like, hmm, why would you like need another policy? I'm just kind of confused. You act confused and they will give you the answer. So if you're struggling, check yourself, see where you're at. Are you identifying the white elephants in the room? And ultimately, if you slay those elephants, you will move the ball forward, find more value, and help your prospects come to a come to a come to a conclusion that they do have a problem or they don't have a problem and then you can sell them. Hope this video helps you guys.